This model shows the shape of the ventricular system. It's formed by two small cavities in the midline, the third ventricle and the fourth ventricle, and two much larger cavities, the lateral ventricles, which connect to the third ventricle here. It's the third ventricle because the lateral ventricles are counted as the first two. The ventricles are filled with cerebrospinal fluid. We'll see more of them as we go along. Each cerebral hemisphere contains a cavity, the lateral ventricle, that's filled with cerebrospinal fluid. The lateral ventricle has an anterior horn, a body, a posterior horn, and an inferior horn. The anterior horn is in the frontal lobe, the body is in the parietal lobe, the posterior horn is in the occipital lobe, and the inferior horn curls downward and forward into the temporal lobe. To see where the lateral ventricle communicates with the third ventricle, we'll go round to a medial view. The communication is here, at the interventricular foramen. To see how the lateral ventricle, the third ventricle, and the fourth ventricle are connected, we'll look at a brain that's been divided in the midline. Here's a midline section through the third ventricle. Here's the third ventricle. This strand of vascular tissue in the roof of the ventricle is the choroid plexus, which produces cerebrospinal fluid. Here's the interventricular foramen opening into the lateral ventricle. The choroid plexus passes through the foramen and continues into the lateral ventricle. The cerebrospinal fluid that's formed in the lateral and third ventricles passes through this narrow passage the cerebral aqueduct, and into the fourth ventricle. Fluid leaves the fourth ventricle through three openings, the lateral apertures, the right one is in the depths of this recess, and the medial aperture, which is in the midline, here. It's easier to visualize the medial opening in this dissection. Here it is, in the inferior medullary velum. The lateral openings, are here. The medial opening comes out here between the cerebellum and the medulla. The lateral opening on each side comes out just below the cerebellar peduncles. These openings lead to the subarachnoid space surrounding the brain and spinal cord. We'll see where the cerebrospinal fluid is absorbed later in this tape when we look at the blood vessels.